five seconds remaining. A Centaur Rana. The third pick of Sin of Team Aura. Now it makes much more sense than usual. I, I mean, from the previous game. Centaur Rana. Rubik and also Juggernaut. These. These heroes are so easy to play, unlike last last game that they had the uh, Rubik and uh, I'm sorry, Morphling and Meepo in the same team. Ursa Warrior Reserve time down to only one minute Waiting for them to pick the I haven't seen a team pick Darth Vino these days so yeah tiny will be playing as a core instead of a post four because they're having a dark willow here ten seconds remaining or i didn't expect to meet dark willow for sure five seconds in this remaining. game <laughs> Thirty second left for Aura. Very important game. Whoever loses one will go out of the tournament. Magnus. Although Devourer has been banned out, Magnus will be playing as a post forward to buff that Juggernaut and doing a Superman RP. Ten seconds remaining. Aura still need more a tower pusher. I am looking for a heroes, maybe what about Dragonite? If you pick a dragon eye, it's got a high chance that you might have to deal with a timber saw by identity in mid lane. They need a hero, a mid hero that can push a tower very fast because there's still kind of lack of tower pusher. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit, they're gonna play that Magnus mid. Wow, interesting for Team Aura. <laughs> they have so many initiators. Earth Spirit can initiate. Magnus, Blinking, Skewer, Centaur will run the Blink too. Quite scary. Ass for Tigers!
that's it set for the lineup, man. We already finished the draft. If you ask me, I kind of like Tiger's heroes a little bit more than Aura because it feels like Tiger's heroes are balanced and kind of strong in every stage of the game. And they can push very fast to the Troll Warlord. Uh, I think the homework for Team Aura in this game is try hard to just hold on in early game because um, to deal with the Troll Warlord, your tower will go on so fast. You just have to delay the game. And right now, we are already going into the game. Let's see who's going to be the survivor to play more tomorrow and who will be the first team that get eliminated out of this tournament. We'll find out soon. Prepare for battle. Axe likes this very much. No, just no. Whoops. All right, guys, we are in the game. Going to do some quick intro play who in this one for Team Aura on the radiant side. Visri on Centaur Varan. Uh, Casual on Rubik. Castaway on the Earth Spirit. CT on Juggernaut. Trevens on Magnus. For the dire side, we have Team Tigers. 1437 on Keep of the Light. Unity on Axe. The uh, Dendi on Tiny. Sefer on Dark Willow. And 458 on Troll Warlord. 30 seconds to battle. Holding on to the rune, both of them. Oops. I'll be back to finish this later. It's all falling into place. What a surprise. I'll do just fine. This will do just fine. Okay. Seems like we're having a little bit of server problem. Pretty good harass. Pro Wallard deals a lot of damage with that Rubik. Like this, hey, much. don't tell me this is gonna be Earth Spirit mid by cast away. <laughs> ES mid, I haven't seen this hero mid for a while. I'm pretty sure that that Team Tiger thought that it's going to be the the Magnus mid, but it's not. It's ES mid. Oops, I'm sorry. One, four, three, seven. Just get rid of the misery. I missed the first blood just now. Uh. 
Avalanche. Rolling Boulder. Dropping quite low for the cast away. Let's take a look at his skill build. Boulder Smash. Rolling Boulder. Axe by Velo. It's actually one his best hero too for Velo if you remember since he he played since his day in Kanse Wisp and uh, he played a lot in so many uh, um, Southeast Asia teams or even Ash once on the China Star. team. His axe is always good. So, yeah, you can trust his axe. Magnus right there. Uh, now you see. Key tools. I am sorry about that, but it seems like they're killing it everywhere. Cast away. But I'm land R Trevins. V3. How are they gonna play with this? Like, when this guy gonna rotate? This is actually my first time seeing the Earth Spirit mid. I, s I, I casted a lot of Earth Spirit gank mid, but I <laughs> never cast Earth Spirit mid before. Set in stone. What? Nothing much going on for now, they're just trying to last it as much as possible in their laning phase. Mareska has arrived. It's Dark Wheeler. But like, can it smack into the hoof thump? Nice double edge of victory. Q back on 1437. Velo. Cutting out the creep wave once again and Traven. That was a good play by Traven. He was waiting for Velo to come back and skill Velo into the mid tier. I'm um, sorry, the bottom tier one tower, but. Velo is too tanky for that with two stout shields spinning around. As I mentioned earlier, that he played a lot of Axe too. Tigers doing pretty good in the third game of the series. Meanwhile, the weird tactic from Team Aura with Earth Spirit mid continues. We must see how good his Earth Spirit is. Is it good enough to play in mid lane competitively? Mareska, staying in the Bramble Maze. Two of them stuck in there, not looking good for Team Aura. Got hit by Illuminate as well, trying to fall back into the Shrine. Hoopstomp crawling back, now he reached the Shrine. Can he stay awake? Yes, he can. Spinning around, also Ill Spirit moving in with level 5. He got bonus man level 3. Maybe rolling ball the first. Cast away, that's gonna be his first kills. Let's take a look how much damage he he done. 175. Yeah. Tigers. So I can insist to stop the illuminate by casual. Back to the bottom lane, what happened? 
some action going on first time using the Omni Slash, but it just cannot do anything to that axe. Not even down to 20% HP. Axe is super strong, man. It's so disgusting with two stout shield and ring of hell. Oh my god. And here we go, setting up the Bravel Mage in order to zone that Visory out and lock him down nearby the tower. Fate Bolt already comes out, Telekinesis Bang and also dropping down by Castaway. Dropped the first time using Magnetize. Castaway got two kills, interesting, interesting. This mid lane Earth Spirit got two kills already. This next item is going to be another Bracer and a Portrait. And maybe going straight to some urn. Dandy. Avalanche and hit on that Earth Spirit, setting up the Bramble Man as well. Earth Spirit doesn't have his ultimate, he just used it. Back to the bottom, spinning around by Velo. He didn't even afraid about that Blade Fury. That axe, man. I'm not sure how you're gonna stop that axe. Meanwhile, 458 finish off Visory on top. Safer. Buying some time until his teammate coming in. 1437 and also Velo. Axe. He doesn't have a blink dagger. All you have to do is just walk in and do some Berserker call. Avalanche and toss already. Casual dropping quite low, eating some tangle, throwing another flashbang. Axe being just kicked back. I'm gonna puke if if you cannot kill Axe just now. It's too much. This Axe is too strong. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Hey, he didn't even rush for a Vanguard. He's just gonna go for the face boot first. Doing? Earth Spirit on the way to the view of this court. Nice diving in by the uh, Tiny, by Dendi, rolling ball the Boulder Smash, dropping some Magnetize, dealing a lot of damage with a safer killing spree with the uh, Boulder Smash. Omni Slash comes out on that Tiny, spinning around right after that. Just enough damage to kill that Dendi, double kill for Castaway. Holy mother, this is started to pay off. This Earth Spirit mid lane. Definitely a secret weapon of Team Aura. Aura CT. Axe. He died two times. Let's take a look at the levels. Axe still level 6 while Juggernaut's already 8. Crown. Face boot. And right ban. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Meanwhile, in the Radiance middle, Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Lucky God. Radiant are scanning. Tiny. Radiant do some scan and it knows that the uh, tigers already do some small and getting ready for to dive them at the uh, top tier on tower They don't have that much vision They only see blinking Aura Trevins Empower level 3 on the Juggernaut. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Spinning around for the Juggernaut. Axe. Stay behind the tree line, he's still chuckling. 
Rolling boulder in front of that axe. Everyone just aiming that axe. 1v4, he surely goes down like this. Make a kill for Castaway. He has his view of Discord up. His next item is going to be the Magic Wand and then just go for a Buddha Travel and a Blink Dagger for Castaway. Maxing out the Rolling Boulder. X die for three times. He haven't get his Vanguard up yet, and his network dropped down to only fifth place. Velo. It looks good for the start of Velo, cutting out the creep wave here and here. Invisibility. But yeah, after that, it just he just fall apart Dyer's because he always got ganked down with so many people. Sefer strike out at Travens, not that far away. Let's take a look at the fight for a smoke popped out. Here come Illuminate along with Avalanche and a toss. Just incinerate the casual. Cast away, get into the tree line, try to lure them in. He got his ultimate ready, but I don't think he will drop his magnetites. Now Rolling Boulder finally get caught here. And that's it, the Magnetize, he deals the most damage. Waiting for the support, but that's no one come. How are you gonna catch this guy? So hard. Radiance top tower is under attack. 8 to 8 games all, we still don't know who couldn't come out with the first 10 kills. Fade ball, play Kinesis back, and here comes Stampede chasing for support first. Rolling boulder connected on that Tigers 1437. Keep it a light falls, another rolling roller. Velo into the side shop. He might get kicked by the boulder smash. Spinning around for the axe, calling a berserker call. Surely going to be the first hand kill for Team Aura. Pro Warlord disappeared from the scene for a while. 458 with two kills is getting closer and closer to his Bell Fury. He should be the only hope of Team Tigers in mid to late game at the moment. Trevins. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Not Miller. Hey, how you doing, Carrot? <laughs> yeah, the cat just come and we sit that in such a in the middle of the game. That is super blood bot fight between the two teams. 18 kills within 14 minutes. Game are uh, full of the micro gank here and there. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Or CT. What have we here? What have we here? Hey, do you think he's gonna get the boost of travel or the blink dagger first? I think it might be a blink dagger first. Then travel after. I'm gonna show you guys some items update here. Velo just finished his Vanguard, but that's all he got. He died four times in a face boot. Meanwhile, 458 already finished his the, uh, Bell Fury. Magnus. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They're just gonna go for the keep of the light. They know that the uh even though the game looks good for Team Aura, but the network is still on the uh, TNC. It never was on Team Aura. History. Four, five, eight. Looking to charge in. B3 stampedes away, but he was avalanche and a taunt, and, and he's now staying still, putting up the Bramble Mace too, so he cannot run away. Four, five, eight. Finish him off. And cast away, it's unstoppable on top. V3 falls down. Velo 2. Zero six. Six zero. For Aura cast away. The game's goal right now. You got six kills. Didn't know that this gonna happen when we see like oh a spirit mid. Kinda like, yeah, what are you doing man? But look at that. He killing left and right. Double edge, rolling boulder balls. Oh he kicked his teammate! Oh my goodness, this guy. He deserved to be the manager, the head coach of Real Madrid. <laughs> They need someone who know how to kick the ball inside the goal. Twelve to nine game score, and they just don't underestimate the power of that troll warlord. If you if you taking control of the game now, just shut down the whole map control, the whole map area for TNC Tigers, so their hard carry cannot farm and try to get the Roshan and high ground. Playing out of textbook is always the best. Dandy. Vida. Middle tower is under attack. Facebook blink dagger for Velo. They might strike them from behind. Four, five, eight. Jumping in, we're just setting up the Bramble Maze and all her eyes comes out, spinning around just to be safe from all the damage. GG! He just fall back first and try to just heal himself and maybe come back in once again. Willowitz has been released. And now, Magnetized too, can it stand all the medical damage to come out from that Earth Spirit? Earth Spirit falls, but he just leaves his legacy behind, which is all the medical damage and killing everyone of Team TNC Tigers. Casual walking away when he was hit by the horses. TNC Tiger got him. Now the game will be even harder for Team Aura like this once that throw wall off, finish off his uh, Black King bar. Throw wall off. Magnus, 14 to 12 game score. It was a mistake uh, for Team Aura that they went in with a little bit uh, mm, fighting around here, and that, that's not much vision over there just now. Look at the graph dropping down, both golden experience earned.
macro. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the kill so here. It was a solo kill. Earth Spirit just get rid of the Dendi. Dendi with two Razor and one Echo Saber on the way to the Black King bar. Make a kill for 458 with the assist of Velo blinking in and doing some Berserker call. Centaur Rana. Three K ahead for Team is under attack. Tigers. I'm gonna show you guys some items update. Pro Warlord just finish off his Sentin Yasha on the way to the Black King bar, I believe, while Juggernaut. Just Divisor Blade, Drum, and Yasha. Cut a big difference. Jumping in with the Berserker call, catching the core hero. Pro Warlord goes in with his ultimate Battle Trance. Chop, chop, chop. But however, cast away on killing spree, he kills someone behind first. Unstoppable for 458. They need to deal with that pro warlord. How are they gonna stop them? Spinning around with the blade theory. Can he kill the pro? Fate ball comes in, the pro fall down. This might be the first team wipe. Dendi running away. The only survivor from that catastrophe. Straight into the Roshan pit. Impossible. This game swinging back and forth. Used to be on Aura side, dropping down to Tiger. He's going back to Aura once again. Nineteen to fourteen game score. And uh, what do you want to know next? Is I'm just gonna leave here. But it seems like the next team fight is going to be the most important fight in the middle game. Whoever can win this one can grab the momentum of the game. Rolling boulder aiming for that Mareska has arrived. He was silent. But however. The Earth Spirit being kicked down in the zone of Team TNC. Can they finish off Earth Spirit? But look at that. Earth Spirit inside of the TNC uh, Tiger zone. Just killing one more. Dropping Magnetize already. And he just dropped the view of this card too. That's going to play a big part in all the mythical spells of Team Aura. 4, 5, 8. Finish off with the Whirling Axe. Another Whirling Axe to kill too. Going straight into the Roshan Pit. They are so ready for it. The rest of Team Aura just retreat. And that's no choice. Because they have lost. One call, one support. They gotta give away this one. Centaur around the bot back. It seems like nobody wants to lose the first uh, ages of the game. RP on to skewer them back into the Will of Is. Stuck in there, Omni Slash all comes out uh, along with the Earth Choice. Just enough damage to kill that Velo. Dendi drop two. Bot back right away for Dendi. Teleport down to the shrine. Throwing another flashbang. The audience of fought and fall back. Fitting around. And they got him. Four by eight finally falls at the river. Avalanche and Taurus comes in just to kill that CG. Law 3 for Aura. Now he's becoming 4v2 fight. CG said my bad. He knows that he made a mistake. But how Aura gonna stop him, he and uh, Tigers from unstoppable for cards away. He killed 14 times with a rolling boulder in. Doesn't have any magnetized. Two, one. Here comes the magnetized. Come on, gonna drop your ultimate before he goes down. Now he's dead. He bought back right away. But where is the magnetized? He's ready with the wheel of this card and fighting over this road time for like for the past five minutes. Rolling boulder in and then trying to get him. Do you even live, Tiny? Coming back into the fade ball. Here comes finally a magnetized and a rolling boulder to over on. Throwing. Three throw on that one four three seven. It might be Aura instead who get the Rochan. Miss the skiver. Velo walking back to the high ground, running away. Hoopstorm, but they missed too. V 
Philo doing some best set just to buy some time, spinning around like a goddamn helicopter, but he will still go now anyway. They have to get give that Aegis to Team Aura. One K, man, what a crazy game we have here. We have almost forty kills, thirty six kills in only twenty six minutes. And cast away, this guy has gone mad. I never seen such a spirit mid before, and this is so scary. Fifteen kills in only twenty six minutes. This game deserves to be on, I don't know, all over YouTube, man. What a risky draft, cast away playing Earth Spirit mid in the deciding game of the best of three series in elimination match. Double damage on the uh, Juggernaut, slashing down on the tower. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. They have an eye on Team Tigers on top. After this game, Tigers, they really want to leave another day to go to tomorrow on the uh, lower bracket finals. They want to be Tigers until the end of this tournament. They don't want to be Carrot. This Magnus, I think he did so good in this game. Uh, the the timing of using the chalk wave to slow the enemy down, uh, constantly buffing his teammates, especially Juggernaut, the M power and the RP. He has ten assists so far. Dyer's top tower is under attack. They're not straight to the tower. Makes a lot of slash because of the flashbang. 1437, he being thrown inside the base, he's just spin, gonna spin out. He still has the HS of Immortal. As you can see, the healing ward movement speed was so slow these days. He cannot run and heal at the same time anymore. No more tier 3 tower. Do I'm kind of afraid that th it, this might be a little bit of overextend for Team Aura. But his teammate stays behind getting ready for the fight. They have some vision because of the Observer Ward. Waiting for the next creep wave. Are you guys ready for this team fight? If you are ready, take a deep breath. Hold your breath until the fight ends. Throwing inside in front of the tier 4 tower. He surely goes down. Velo already used his ultimate to finish off the uh, Aegis target. Cash will finish off 1437. That was a good fight of a team or a nice start. Now that, that the air on that dandy trying to walk away. He was stopped by the hoopstorm and now he died there. No buyback for that dandy. So definitely gonna be the first set of rash to team Aura. Aura! The hero! Cast away might sacrifice himself in order to buy some more time for his teammate though. Cast away! In front of the tier 4 he falls. 100 seconds without a buyback for Castaway. The rest of Team Aura need to go back home safely. And now Velo got a double kill. They lost the first set of racks, but the game is not over yet. It's only 2k ahead. Black King Bar for Castaway. His next item is going to be... Um, they have an Halberd. Invisibility. Dark Milo just got his uh, 90 gold per minute. And also the hand of Midas, he 
Now got 2.7k go in his pocket. Might go straight to the blink dagger. I'm sorry, not a blink dagger. Hex. I, if I am a dark, you know, I'm just gonna go straight to Hex. Juggernaut jumping in with the hook stomp, turn on the Black King bar. And straight to the Centaur Varana, he's trying to drag this guy away. Killing spree for Velo. Tigers push back, even though they lost the first set of racks, but it seems like the uh, the network is still pretty even. So if you ask me, I think the chance to win this game now is 60-40 in favor of Team Aura. Juggernaut. with the blade mail I think his personal call is also the big factor in team fight if you want to win you need that velo to call for two just jumping in and call me maybe What a crazy series here, Aura versus Team T and uh, Team Tigers. Radiant right from game number seven. one, that they keep fighting back and forth, and it was Aura took game one, then Aura lost quite easily in game number two. That's why we are here in game three. That Aura picking this Earth Spirit, playing mid lane. On the way to a U Scepter and also the Agony Dragon's Scepter. The whole team small for Team T. Radiant Tigers. Jumping down, here we go. Started off with the Hoop Storm and with a rolling boulder in from the Black King Bar as well. But he keep his Magnetize on RP on one just to stop that Pro Warlord from attacking anyone. Turn on the Black King Bar and just go straight. They bought so much time for that Pro Warlord. Pro Warlord turn on a better turn that but once he got out his ultimate, he will truly go down. But nobody can stop that Pro Warlord anymore. He's staying alive with that 100 HP. Finally, he was brought down by Team Aura. Whoever can buy back, they need to buy it now. Especially for the Tiger side. They got no choice. Comes in with Avalon, toss him into the Rochan pit. Ah, Hoops up, or he comes out and stun on the 1437. Boulder smashed by the cast away and rolling Boulder to the high ground. That's the end of the fight. But they all just go into the Rochan pit, trying to wait for them. Semper. Jumping in with a boulder smash, but he didn't connect on anyone. Rolling boulder. No, but they just gonna stuck at the stair. You stepped on himself coming in with a whirling axe. Toss one more time. And then Pro Warlord is ready to finish everyone with his axes. Four, five, A's. Take down that casual. 33 to 26 game score. 35 minutes in. They are about to get the second ages. What a game we have here at the end of the day. Travins. Bottom tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower 
Crazy, crazy day. I thought it's gonna be like two zero two zero two matches. Then it comes like six games <laughs> with oh man, I spilled the glass. Dyer's middle tower is under Dyer's attack. Middle tower has Six game Dyer's of a crazy, crazy daughter too. Action. Guys, right now if you are aura supporter type one, if you are Tigers type two in the chat, do it now. If you want to support both teams, type 99. <laughs> Pro Warlord is inside. Aura knows that he's in, but that's nothing you can do about. It's just like, you know that snake is in your house, but you cannot go in and catch the snake. Gotta keep him. Now finally the rescue is here. But he picked up the agents to turn on the Black King Mines. He's gonna walk back to the base safely. Juggernaut. Butterfly, I'm gonna leave you guys with the buyback status. Troll got no buyback, but he's holding on and ages. Tiny, where's the cheese? Cheese is with axe. Tiny with full damage item like Critalis, Black King Bar, and also the Echo Saber. Dandy level 20. Paul Rana. Grass. If you take a look at the grass, it just looks like a lifeline. Up and down, up and down. It's about to go up on our side once again. This fight. Guys, are you ready? Smoke has been popped. They're all getting ready. Dropping Vilovis already. Now dumping in and Berserk a call on Rubik. Aura down to four. A spirit with an egg and a scepter. Boots of travel. Black King Bar. And a view of this court. On the way to the E blade, that he can switch with this bottle. Paul Rana 
on the way to the heaven halberd. Radiance top tower is under attack. Now it's all about who make the first mistake. Troll wall on, look at that. 0 0.24 second per attack. That means one second he attacked five times. Two seconds, ten times. We have to keep an eye on this guy, Troll Warlord, when it comes to the team fight. The, the question is, can he just standing still and free attack on anyone? Turn on his spell trance. Radiance top tower is under attack. All team smoke to the bottom lane. Bottom Juggernaut also cannot attack. fight. I don't think he cannot fight the troll warlord toe to toe. So he's gonna get bashed today. You might have to come back because Troll Warlord can destroy your tower very fast. Nobody want to TP back. 0.43 seconds per attack. Get the Lake and it back to the high ground. Almost connected with the Aboda Smash. Fall back first. Everyone in the game got a buyback right now for TNC, Tigers, and Aura. I keep calling them TNC Tigers. I want to kick myself in the ass. Come on. Tigers. You know, before this lineup, Tigers wanted to bring the Wonder Kid from Thailand, only 17 years old kid named 23 Savage, which is ranked number one in Southeast Asia to join that team. But the kid, with the uh, guidance of ADTR, say that he's not ready yet. Oh, no, nice coming out. 1, 4, 3, 7, the team captain, the in-game leader, was brought down first. The Reds just have to retreat. And pretty sure he called for fallback. Cast away. Rolling border, catching that throw wall on. Only cheese he has. He was kicked back. He, has, he was forced to just go for the Black King bar. Pro wall on. Pro Warlord falls, about to go down. Oh, he about he was he actually activated his battle trance. And I look at that with no buyback. This is gonna be the last line of the Troll Warlord. His teammates just gonna get slashed down. Hoopstorm, everything, double damage, double edge two, Avalanche and Todd, Dandy moves in. He's trying to do a critical damage, but his attack speed was too low. Pro Warlord moving in, fighting with the Juggernaut, spinning around, dealing decent damage. Even Juggernaut have to run for the troll. Jump down. Now he bought back right away, but Pro Warlord was at the last life already. Avalanche, nice doing some body block, but the Centaur Warrunner now. He knows why he's born to be big. Just to do body block for his team. 36 with 31 game score. Team Aura manages to kill the buyback of Troll Warlord. <laughs> oh god. Long way to go, man. <laughs> Should be more than 60 minutes for sure. Let me take a look at something. Troll wall on, look at this. Look at the sound. Jack, jack, jack. When the, <laughs> when the uh, mini stun comes out from the Monkey King bar. Look at that. Look at that. Jack. Woo! 
<laughs> Look at the damage from the Dendi. The tree grab, he can easily, like, maybe five hit on the tower. No way! That's too much. Vivian, Cypher, they will wait for the high ground. This is the map control of Team Aura. As you can see, they have zero visions at where T uh, Tigers is. That's quite risky. That's very risky for Team Aura to come out like that. Spinning around, whoever got a Black King by, it's time to pop your let yellow bar right now. And it's CG, fall back. He's still got a buyback though, but they lost that Rubik for 100 seconds. It's time for Team Tigers to just push the creep wave out. Aura, not in a good situation right now. And this is a good chance for Team Tigers to just get the Aegis first. And maybe trying to do a fatal push. Bramble may have been set up. I don't know why they, they, they want to walk up at the stairs here without any vision because Tigers were waiting here. They saw him all along. This is wait for Team Aura to walk here and just spam all the spell over there. Crazy decision making. One minute, no Rubik. And they also have to hold. 4v5 against Team Tigers that has Aegis and a cheese. Jumping in, skiver him in. He also get hacked. He might get chopped down by the Pro Warlord. CG bot back. Try to hold it, hold it, hold it. Turn the Black King bar. Barak, first rack's gone. 458 RP on Dendi and Omni Slash and just get rid of the one damage. Deal the first, but he popped the cheese and he get all the HP back. Full HP. Time to toss an avalanche. Oh my goodness, avalanche. And now spinning, slashing like a samurai. He get that daddy down. Killing spree no more. And now the next one is going to be the troll warlord. Man fight troll warlord, turn at the battle trans. Walking away for the troll. He's still holding on an Aegis, but he don't want to fight no more because that's no core heroes like axe around. Wonder how am I gonna survive tomorrow? Games. <laughs> we still have like one base of three, one base of five tomorrow. And this game is gone crazy. No buyback. This is probably going to be the last line of everyone jumping in with Avalanche and Thor to hit each other. Just like Cat and Cucumber. They see him. They're just going to go in. Put him in the Black King by shooting the Ethereal Blade. Down once again for Rubik. And next one might be the Centaur Varana. Centaur, no buyback too. Luckily, he got away from that. There's no room for more mistakes for both parties because they already ran out of the buybacks. Still looking pretty good for Team Tigers because they having Troll Warlord with the Ages of Immortal.
are scanning. Troll Warlord. 15k ahead for Team Tigers. And somebody disconnected from the game. Ooh. What a game. Crazy game we have here. Oh, Warlord with the uh, Aegis of Immortal with the Black King Bar and also the Valkyrie Satanic Mighty King Bar Sentient Yasha already removed his boots. This is the item's update. Cast away. His hero dries out. Getting less powerful team fight in the late game. Enchant Remnant. This is the visions of Team Aura. You see the troll. And this is Tigers. Radiant's bottom shrine is under attack. Radiance bottom shrine has fallen. It just dries out once again. Troll Walla still got a buyback. No buyback for Juggernaut. I think Tiger just have to take risk, man. But that's no shrine. Yeah, both team got no shrine. This is a big thing because if you still got a shrine, if you fight in the middle of the map. If you die, you bought back, you still can't just teleport down to try and come in just in time before your teammates die. But the fact that there's no chai already, it, it's risky. Comes in, Telekinesis is catching the Keeper of Light first, jumping in for that action on the Black King Bar and the Blade Nail at the same time, he's trying to deal the damage. Falls back maybe a little bit, the Battle Trance, not he keeping his Battle Trance first. Omni Slash already comes out and kill that uh, 1437 bot back right away. Turn on the better try and just go straight for the turn on. But nice one RP. That might be the RP of the game to stop the troll. Warlord, it's time to run away for the troll. No, Aegis. This is going to be the last line. But no, troll about to go down. Lotus up, keep him. He reflects some spell back. And now Rolling Bolt is inside. No way. CG Slash on that Velo. Bot back right away. Next one will be this guy. Keep it alive, that is his last life too. All of them, whoever can buy back, just buy it now. This might be the last investment in this team. One, four, three, seven down here. A Hex, safer with a Hex. Gonna get slashed up, but it's got out Samurai. You cannot, you just have to defend your honor. Using the Charter Realm, so you cannot just, he can not buy some time though. CG, he knows that his teammates all already died. And now he's alone there, getting called out by that Axe. Avalanche and toss in. It was too late for that Earth Spirit to come in, trying to save his teammate with both as mad, but he was... He dead already. Damn it, damn it. 41 to 38, it's 11k ahead. Nobody in this game got buyback anymore. 54 minutes in. This should be it. It's set.
100 second without juggernaut that's the main damage dealer for team aura how are they going to defend this one they only have four people and hearts Tigers marching forward, already got the barracks down, it's time to go for tier 4. They know that Juggernaut doesn't have any buyback, Tigers straight to tier 4, threat to the throne, how are they going to defend this one? This might be the last team fight in this game, Aura have to defend this one, Wizzery, Faithful, stop them, Avalanche and Toss. There's no room for more mistake. Aura need to win this team fight or they just get eliminated from this tournament, Pravins. No more RP, five seconds to cool down. Kraven gonna go down before his ultimate ready. That should be it. They're all falling down one by one like a leaf. Tigers, GG has been called. Aura eliminated from beyond the summit spring cup. Tigers proceed to the next round tomorrow to play against team PG Barracks in the first series, best of three. Crazy. Don't wait. Oh, wait, Pepper. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at that. E even the cat, like, right. <laughs> Even the cat ran away just now. He was like, what are these people doing? No. Yeah, the one that you saw in the monitor right now named Carrot. Say hi to Carrot. It was Team Tigers who fought until the very end. And they, they just, you know, won over Team Aura. 2-1, proceed to the next round. While Aura have to just be the first team to get eliminated. But... If I were Aura, I won't regret at all. They have shown us, especially today, that they are one of the you know, top tier teams in Southeast Asia that can fight against Tigers that have so many superstars until the very last bit. Tiger, Tigers <laughs> was a victorious. Well, thank you so much everyone for tuning in for Beyond the Summit Spring Cup today. Uh, this is the second day out of the three-day tournaments. Tomorrow we're going to have one more best of three series and one grand finals with best of five. I am not sure about the time yet. I, I will be confirmed about the, the, the time soon from the organizer. For today, thank you so much everyone for tuning in and support our lovely tournament that hosted by Beyond the Summit and broadcasting by Studio Invade. Yay! Nice one, man. Thank you for all the production value that the, uh, you provide us uh, beyond the summit and me today and all the cats too, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and um, what, e what next? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Uh, and also, shout out to you guys for supporting our tournament, coming in, tuning in, uh, broadcasting by Studio Invade. And also, the main sponsor of the tournament is GG.bet. Thank you, GG.bet, for sponsor and having a cool kick-ass tournament like this. Tomorrow, I don't know about the time yet, but tomorrow, there will be the uh, lower bracket finals, best of three, and the grand final for the best of five. So stay tuned for all these um, that you see in the screen right now. <laughs> the one you, you see. And I'm going to have like the quick question to you guys, that how many cats... Uh, Studio Invade have. Yeah, that, that's how you're going to say goodbye. Uh, well, thank you. And if we did anything wrong today, like missing kills or maybe some technical issue happened, I have just to say apologize for that. We'll try to have the uh, better production value tomorrow. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have something special for you guys tomorrow in the final day. Thank you so much, everyone. For today, I'm just going to say goodbye with one last song, shall we? No, not yet. No song. Okay, never mind. Thank you for today. I'm just going to say goodbye right here. Um, thank you, and see you guys tomorrow at Beyond the Summit Spring Cup. Sorry, Hub.